What's up, gang? It's Sub Zero. You know, we back at it again. We out here grinding. Today, I'm going to be talking about meditation and the benefits that I've personally felt from engaging in the practice of meditation. Now, I'm not going to pretend and say that I'm a master of meditation, that I do this all, all the time. You know what I mean? That I do it like every day for like an hour or whatever. For me, right now, I'm doing it give or take 30 minutes every day been about you know three days so far i'm gonna keep going before that i was doing it a little bit less consistently but i was still receiving benefits from that so for me personally meditation has helped me differentiate between the base body desires and higher order thinking and but more importantly than that another main actually it's helped me in multiple areas so that's one area which has helped me. Like, um, there's different levels to our thinking, right? We have some emotions and conditions that afflict us, such as being horny, um, feeling the need to drink water, feeling the need to eat, and being bored and this sort of thing. And yeah, our brain naturally just wants to take the measures which will give us instant gratification to fulfill, quote, fulfill these needs as soon as possible. Whereas with higher order thinking, you may want to instead take a different path, that the path that's not the path of least resistance in order to have delayed gratification so that you will reap more benefits in the future compared to what you would have had if you took the short term gratification route. For example, Maybe if you want to fast and reap the benefits of fasting, I'll make a video on fasting another day. Then you would be using your higher order thinking to suppress your base base uh, thoughts and desires. You would suppress that, put that to the side, make your willpower stronger and take the action that's going to give you more benefits in the long run, which would be fasting at that point in time. Another area in which it's helped me is it's helped me control my emotions a lot more because um, I'm not sure why it is. Maybe it's because through the practice of meditation, you kind of train your willpower because nobody really wants to sit around doing nothing pretty much for periods of time like is boring you know to most people it's too boring so they don't want to do it but once you get into it and once you make it a habit and your willpower gets stronger like for me at this point in time it's still not something that I want to do you know I have to force myself to do it but every time I do it it makes it makes me stronger it makes me a better person and in terms of emotionality maybe because it's probably related to this other point I was going to make, which is it helps me differentiate my thoughts from my true self. Because in my opinion, your brain simply projects and creates random thoughts, which your brain interprets verbally in whatever language you speak. For example, you know, you might just be sitting there and start daydreaming or whatever. You just get random thoughts. You're not consciously thinking not necessarily this, that you're going to be thinking, oh, I'm going to start thinking about this and that and that and that and that. Now your brain just randomly starts projecting these things onto the screen of your mind. And then you start to witness whatever your brain is coming up with. However, your thoughts do not determine who you are. For example, me personally, I used to do a lot of drugs. And when I would do things like take molly mdma then my brain would be a lot more depressed because of the chemical imbalances caused in my brain through doing those drugs which was certainly not beneficial for me but because of those sorts of experiences i've really come to realize since i've gone sober and stopped doing any illicit substances or anything like that I've come to realize just how much thoughts 
come into your brain that don't necessarily determine who you are. You know, like, I would have thoughts that are depressing and suicidal and this sort of thing. That doesn't mean that that's who I am, you know? That's just thoughts that I'm having. And thoughts, they'll come and they'll pass. So when you're sitting there meditating, you're going to be receiving thoughts. But the goal within meditation is you know that you're going to be receiving those types of thoughts. The goal is not to dwell on them, but to just have them, observe them, and then let them pass. Because they'll always pass. You feel me? And then once they pass, you'll be much more in the present moment. Because if you're trying to focus on something, how can you focus on something if you're focused on either the past or the future? You can't. You've got to be focused on the present moment. And if you want to focus on an activity that you're doing at a certain time, if, with the maximum amount of output that you can possibly reap from that uh, activity. Is there anything else that I really want to talk about with regards to meditation? The benefits of it? I guess there's nothing else off the top of my head. That's it for this video. Uh, love y'all. Peace out. Have a great day. Try to accomplish something good today.